Actually, I wondered whether I could use my grandma's sewing machine. You can oh, help me get to know it better. That's probably quite a good idea. I usually... Wow, it's really I know, heavy. I know, it's a heavy machine. It's, it was like <laughs> built in the 80s, this one, I think. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do is stitch up just one of the shoulder seams. Okay. So we've got to get right sides of the fabric together mm -hmm. and we're going to sew about a centimetre away from the edge. So mm -hmm. we get it underneath, get all our edges together like that and then we'll be ready to sew. On my foot. Here we go, Wendy. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Here okay. we go. Right. And where's Hold my little it a foot bit there bit? as well. Okay. Ready. One, one hand there. One yeah. hand this there. This to keep it together. That to keep it together. Oh, a lovely sewing machine. Here's my first seam. So that is so bad, really is good. What was your granny called? Nancy. Thank you, Granny Nancy. <laughs> She's the right way round. That way, I think. Okay. Yeah. So that's going to be your shoulder there. That goes round there as a kind of. Oh, yep. sorry, boat yeah. neck thing. Mm -hmm. So now this is when we do the magic of finishing off the neck. Yeah. I like a little bit running off, running off the shoulder seam, so I'll put mm -hmm. that there. We stretch mm -hmm. the ribbing mm -hmm. and no way, never the dress. Right. So I'm emphasising it so that you just don't forget. Okay. So I'm stretching that ribbing yeah. just a little bit, just to get me round a few bends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, little stretch as I go, trying to stay equidistant from the edge. Little stretch. Mm -hmm. Is that like stretch like that? Yeah, just a little stretch, yeah. Very good. Okay. Wendy's done really well. She's coming to the end of the neckline now. And now when you're at the end, you're going to go backwards and then forwards just to close it off. Yeah. So you see how it's all sort of kind of looks like it's it's gathered a little bit. Mm -hmm. What happens is we stretch it mm -hmm. back into shape again and so it goes all smooth. That looks nice. It's very important that when you press the neck that you keep it in the shape, the final uh -huh. shape that it's going to be. Yeah. Don't have it all out in a straight line because right. then it will just stand up. So you've got to have it in its final okay. sort of shape. And then when you do, it comes out all nice and smooth Ooh, like that. Nice. All we have to do now, Wendy, is stitch up the other shoulder seam. Well, okay. that's not all we have to do, but that's what we have to do at the moment. <laughs> so we we'll quickly do that now. When we stitch up the shoulder seam, you see I haven't trimmed off these bits, mm. is because I have to align them first. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to cut it now, cut off those bits of ribbing mm -hmm. at the same angle as the actual shoulder seam. Okay. Because if I cut them before, they might have been cut at the wrong yeah. angle. So we, we get it under here. And here. Great. So we're just doing a little bit of stretch, Wendy, as you go. So this is on the second shoulder seam. So we've closed off the second shoulder seam now. Really good. And then when you get to the end, the uh, backwards and forwards bit again. So that's what. Ooh, which way round? Yeah. So that's what you've just done. Look at that. That looks really professional. It does. <laughs> it doesn't it? Look how professional that is. Now what I'd say is I usually sort of mitre. It's got a kind of 60s feel about it actually, yeah. especially looking at you with your hair and then it. I'll just get myself a beehive. No, that'd be great. <laughs> that'd be really, really good. Right, Wendy. Wendy. Hello. I'm just, I'm, look, see how I've got two spools of cotton here. Yeah. I'm threading up the twin needle Ooh. because to finish off the uh, the hem on the sleeve, it makes it look much, much more professional and it isn't difficult. Okay. It's just one needle that has two needles on it. Before we sew the hem on the sleeves, we press it first because it kind of makes it stick. Mm -hmm. Not all fabrics, but a lot of fabrics. And you really don't need pre uh, pins. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing that now, I'm trying not to squirt myself. When we sew, you would probably sew it this way round, wouldn't you? Yeah. We don't, we sew it the other way round. Ooh. And you feel your way, and that way, the material doesn't move around and sort of pucker up. So mm -hmm. we don't need to go backwards and forwards. Mm -hmm. If you can always remain that much away from the edge. Mm -hmm. On that six yeah. by eight line. Oh, is that what it is? I don't know. <laughs> That's what it says. Yeah. That's what I'm going for. Okay. So just keep going all the way. But it's too. I know. It's Take too it needles. at the back. Take it. Yeah. yeah. Good. 
and then stay that distance away from the edge, maybe a bit nearer. A bit more that way. Yeah, like and that. trying to remain pretty much equidistant, not okay. the end of the world. Brilliant. So grab that material at the back. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, very good. But do you see why, do you see, yeah. it's like a trick you see, because you could have been a bit wibbly wobbly, but it would still More look good. Likely. No, but it would still look good because those two are always together. Always parallel. So it's like a bit of a trick. Nice. It's nice, isn't it? It's <laughs> yeah. really good. So we do the same on the other side. Okay. See, what I'd really like to make is, I've seen these dresses that are kind of sort of 1920s style, like, like bias cut yeah bias cut and lovely darts in them and you make them out of silk and that would be you know i'd love to learn how to do that i mean it's probably quite advanced isn't it well it is and it isn't really uh we would need a pattern for it yeah i mean we could do it ourselves but there's no point because you can buy patterns out there and the trick with those dresses they are very simple and it's but it's all about cutting the fabric on the cross mm -hmm. and that's when it becomes difficult because when fabric's cut on the cross and it's silk and it's crepe, yeah. it's got a mind of its own and it slips and slides all over the place. Yeah. But I always have a, a trick way of doing things. And you I'm, always oh, have a, I do. a trick and a trip, a tip. <laughs> trick and a tip. <laughs> trick and a tip. <laughs> yes. Right, going back to your <laughs> t-shirt dress, yeah. which will be equally as glamorous as your 1920s oh, yeah. bias cut dress. She's done this so far. Wendy, this is inside out. Mm -hmm. Okay, hem the sleeves using hem a twin sleeves. needle. Yeah. So now all we have to do is simply stitch down that side, yeah, the other side, yeah. and then we'll do twin needle on the hem. Ooh. I know, it's, it's really- It's nearly ready. It's nearly ready. Well, I'm gonna do this bit now. Okay. It's just straight down. Okay. What could go wrong? Uh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> and equidistant from the edge. Is that a good, good distance from the edge? Yeah, brilliant. Let's not go too fast. <laughs> Wendy's done it beautifully. We actually went twice just to definitely secure the seam. See? See, look, we did. We could have done twin needle. We could have done, could we? Yeah. No. <laughs> so she's just going to press it with seams going towards the back. Now, ordinarily, we would overlock or zigzag, but we don't need to because this doesn't fray. So we're going to press it and then do the other side. What are you doing, Wendy? I'm putting the twin needle back in. <laughs> it's the most exciting thing ever. And it's really easy to do, isn't it? Yeah, except I've got it stuck. Yeah, you've got a loop. I think it's a fatter thingy. Oh, it's thingy. a fatter. And so why do you need a twin needle? So you get two equidistant lines of stitching. So even if you go like that a little bit, it still looks really great and professional. And it gives it a more t-shirt finish. Wendy? Yeah? Have you got it on? Did you try it on? Because I want to see how... Wow, that is so good! <laughs> Wendy, it's so good! Oh, it's cool, isn't it? Wow! We have to decide how So long. we have to decide. So you might need to go and look in the mirror, but... I kind of think the way that it is with a, with a, a hem on yeah. it is good, you know. Yeah. You just go and look in your bedroom okay. and come back and tell me. So what do you what do you think of the length? Do you think, I think it's the right length? Then you just put the hem yeah. on it and we're done. Because I don't think you want it too short, no. do you? Wow, it's so nice. I know. <gasps> Brilliant. Okay, so if you get it off and we'll press it, because I always press the hem first, so I don't need to use pins when I sew. And we're doing a twin needle hem. So equidistant from the edge. Like that. Yeah. Perfect. Who have I got to match up to? You've got to match up with okay. there. Home stretch. Literally. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Right, that's it. So, <laughs> needles are up. Lift your foot, gently pull away. Trim off all your bits. Oops. Now we do need to press the hem, but do you want to just have a little look? Here it is. Let's see. Finished. That is Ooh, so brilliant. brilliant. So brilliant, <laughs> 60s, 80s. Do you know what I mean? Sort of 60s, 80s. It's fantastic. 60s, 80s. So I'm going to press not this 70s, hair. though. No, not 70s, <laughs> no. Cool 80s yeah. and cool 60s. Thank I'm going to press the hem and then Wendy's going to try it on. Are you going to try it on? Yes. Yes, and then Wendy's going to try it on. Come on, Wendy. Let's have a look. 
Wow, look at that! Wow. I can't believe we made that in like fantastic couple of hours. That's all it took. Oh.